Today I'm going to show you how to crochet this super simple striped dishcloth. But before I do that, I also want to show you this super neat trick that will help you change the color of your yarn without having to weave in your ends. I know, right? So here's what happened. I don't like weaving in my ends. I originally started making this dish towel and because I didn't like weaving in my ends, I tried to carry my yarn in a way up the side so that I wouldn't have to and I just kind of made it up as I went. And this is how it ended up. Now I could just put a border around this because it really doesn't bother me that much. However, I didn't realize how noticeable it would actually be. So two things. If I decided to put a border around this, I would have ran out of yarn. So that's a bummer, especially if I didn't have an extra skein lying around. I did though, so that's probably what I'll do. But the second thing that could happen is that even if I did decide to put a border around this, I kind of like the way it looks without a border. I like the clear definition of each row here. I'm not a very big border person. I wanted to find a way where I could carry up my yarn without it looking so crazy. And I came across this hidden gem that more people need to know about. After a few tries at this new technique, this is what my new dish towel looks like. I completed all of these color changes without having to weave in my ends and my edges have a near perfect finish. It's pretty amazing to me. I'm very excited about this. Now this specific technique isn't going to be everybody's cup of tea, but it's definitely worth giving a shot. Okay, so let me tell you how I did this. Now first off, remember I did not come up with this ingenious method. I first came across it from a YouTube channel called Kells Bells. And then she linked to another YouTube channel called Project Baby Blankets. And they both do this tutorial a little bit differently. And after practicing a couple times, I kind of combined the two. So first I'm going to show you how to join your yarn this way. And then I'll show you how I incorporated it into this super simple striped dish towel. And you have to do a special trick in order to line it up perfectly. So make sure you keep watching. So first we're gonna take our two strands of yarn and you're going to pinch the end just like this with your thumb and your pointer finger or your index finger and hold one strand of yarn with your three fingers. And then this is the yarn we're going to be changing our color to. So what you're going to do is wrap around your thumb and then you'll put it inside in between your thumb and your index, but you're still holding on to these strands here. And then you'll wrap again the same way around your thumb but in between your index and your thumb. And we're still pinching it together pretty hard. Now we're going to twist these two strands two times and then grab this strand again and pull up. So it's gonna be, you're gonna pull up until you can't really pull up anymore. Then you're going to fold your yarn ends in so that it's going inside this circle. And this is the tricky part, so be careful not to let go. So I'm pushing my yarn strands in, but I'm not letting my loops move. And now I'm gonna pinch it again, just like that. So I'm holding down the yarn strands with my thumb and you're only going to pull this green strand. So keep holding on to those ends, don't let go. And then you pull tight and then you pull both ends tight. And that's how you join these two yarns. Now, because this is so tight, it's not going anywhere, you can go ahead and cut off these ends. And so this is the finished result. So there is a little bit of a knot. So if that bothers you, then this technique probably isn't for you. And there are plenty of other join techniques out there. So definitely go find something that you would like better. But if you don't mind a little knot like this, and you're more than happy with not having to weave in ends, then this is a good technique for you. So now that we know how to create the join, let's see how we incorporate this into the dish towel pattern. And remember, there's a special trick that you have to do to line it up exactly, so make sure that you keep watching. 
Here we have my little sample where I was practicing how to do the yarn join. And this is what the yarn join looks like. This is where I changed each color and created that same join that we just went over. So as you can see, it's not trailing up the side like I did for my original dish towel. And it's just a little knot here that isn't too noticeable. Now I will say that this was my first time really practicing it. So the more you practice, or depending on the yarn that you're using, you might not even see this. So first we're gonna pretend that I did six rows of black and I'm ready to make my color change. Once you reach the end of the row where you're about to change your color, take your hook out and pull the strand until right before you're about to pull the stitch apart. Then you're gonna mark that with your fingers. And I'm gonna pull out a couple stitches, but keep that same place marked. Now I'm going to cut my yarn right where I marked the spot, and then I'm going to grab my new yarn. Now we're going to do the same thing that I showed you earlier to create our color change. And since we're changing to orange, we're gonna have the orange color on bottom. So go ahead and pinch those strands together close to the edge. And since we're changing to orange, we're going to use this as our working yarn. And then we're going to grab the black with our three fingers. Now wrap the orange yarn around your thumb and it's okay to lift up your finger if you need to get a better grip. Just make sure that you don't let go. Now wrap your strand again around. And we want to make sure that these two strands are close together, just like that. And you don't want them overlapping. You want the first wrap to be on the left side and your second wrap to be right next to it on the right. Now we're going to twist these colors two times and then grab that orange yarn again and lift it in between your thumb and your index finger and just pull up until it can't go up anymore. Now fold your strands in, making sure not to let go of your loops. There, so I still have my loops here. I was cutting it a little close. <laughs> But again, I've only practiced this a couple times, so bear with me. Um, so you push your strands in, and so I'm holding them down with my thumb and my index finger. And now we're going to pull this orange yarn, making sure that you're still holding on to those yarn ends that you folded in. And you're going to pull until it's super tight. And then you can let go and pull both. So again, we have these two yarn ends that we can just snip off. And now we've joined our yarn. Now let me show you why we marked a certain spot and then pulled out our stitches. So we'll go back to crocheting as normal. And here's where the magic happens. So we just completed our last stitch of that round. And now we chain two to start the next round and we already have our next color right on target. And there you have it. So we pretty seamlessly changed our yarn color with this join. Now if yours doesn't match up exactly, you can just try to make your stitch a little bigger or a little tighter depending on your preference. It might take a little bit of adjusting, but it's always lined up perfectly. Now before I let you go, if you're looking to create a similar striped dishcloth like this one, I used Lion Brand's 24-7 cotton in black and creamsicle. And I also used a four point five millimeter hook. To start I chained 70 and half double crocheted into the third chain and each chain across. Then for row two I chained two and half double crocheted in each stitch across. And so each of these colors has six rows. So I went on until row six changed my color to orange, and then completed six more rows. Black, six more orange, six more, and so on. And in the end, this dish towel turned out to be 17 and a quarter inches wide and about 18 inches long. And of course, if you want it to be shorter or longer, just reduce the number of chains and add on some more rows. So that's how you create a beginner crochet dishcloth with a near perfect yarn join without having to weave in your ends. 
So I know that today's video was a little bit different than what you're used to, but I hope you really enjoyed learning this technique and learning how to crochet this really simple striped dishcloth. Just remember that this join technique will take some practice, so if you don't get it on the first try, or maybe the first five tries, just keep trying. And if you're feeling frustrated, just set it aside and maybe try again at another time. Also, I'm going to be linking both of those original videos inside the description. So if I didn't show it in a way that works for you, you should absolutely go check out their videos and see if you can understand their explanation a little bit better. All right, well, that's it for today's video. I will see you in the next one.